must I cry when the sunlight gets promised for better day? Now we're going to take it a step further, and this is how you look at your zodiac and look at the day, okay? Now, the reason that this works and we know that it works is because the zodiac is broken down as a pie, right? And every single piece of that pie is broken into two hours. And that's how we create the full day. Now, depending on what time you wake up, <laughs> would be how you could unlock your chart. Okay? 7 a.m. begins at the first house of rising. 7 a.m. So, let's say you wake up at 7 a.m. What is the sign that is in your 12th house? 7 to 9 a.m. You would want to be doing things according to that sign right and that would help you to be in flow of your day 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. is the 11th house so what is it that what zodiac sign lives in your 11th house from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. this is where you could unlock and flow for your day so overall, the 12th house and how you wake up has everything to do with your spirituality, right? But the sign that governs your 12th house might be how you like to meditate. Meditating in the beginning of the morning is important, but how you might meditate might be different. So let's say, for instance, you have Pisces in the 12th house, then you might actually meditate to flowing waters, right? Listening or go around the ocean, visit an ocean if you're nearby, or turn on a YouTube channel and play some flowing waters and meditate. Versus Aries in the 12th house, you might meditate when you get up in the morning through a workout, right, through sweating. So this is how the 7 to 9 a.m. works itself out. Now the 11th house is your house of hopes and wishes. So from 9 to 11 a.m., this is the area that has to do with working out and doing something towards networking with people and going towards your dreams and hopes and wishes. So it's important that whatever you're doing for your your life's goals, right, that you allow 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. to be that time that you do it in. And what is the sign that is governing that 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 house? During that time, you would want to use that sign to help you right so let's say you have Virgo in the 11th house then you might want to make sure that whatever you're doing between 9 and 11 a.m. that you're taking care of your digestive system that you're having like a protein shake or something or that you're cleaning something because if you're not if, if your hopes and desires is not Virgonian in the sense that you know you want to you know be a be a cleaner Cleaning during 9 to 11 a.m. might give you ideas for what to do next, okay? So that's how it works. Working with those systems, it's all an experiment, and this is how you're going to use the science and apply it to your life and see what works. So 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., and we know this because if your son was here, right? If your son was here in the 12th house, that's because you were born between 7 and 9 a.m., right? If your son is in the 11th house... That means you were born between 9 and 11 a.m. And so on and so forth. And this is why the zodiac works with the clock as well. The 10th house rules over. So this is 12. This is 12. This is 11. This is 10. The 10th house is 11 to 1 p.m. So this is the house of achievement. And this is also noon, right? The top of the day. If you were born with the sun in the 10th house... You were born between 11 and 1 p.m. Anyway, the zodiac sign in this would be the sign that governs over that time of day for you. And so let's say it's Pisces between 11 and 1 p.m., right? Oh, let's use a different sign because I used Pisces already. Let's say it's Gemini at the 10th house, 
right, between 11 and 1 p.m. Well, that might be a time where you want to journal, right? And if you're not necessarily going for it, you might probably, more than likely, you probably are going for a Gemini a career. But let's say you don't know what you're doing in your career. Let's say you're completely lost. If you just journal between 11 and 1 p.m. with Gemini in the 10th house, Every day, you would find ideas that come to you through the journaling. You would you would unlock. This is how you unlock your Bethlehem, unlock your bread, by going through the zodiac and through the day. 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. is the ninth house. The ninth house is where we explore, where we teach, right? So what what platform are you teaching on between 1 and 3 p.m.? Right? So... For instance, if you have Sagittarius that rules over the ninth house between 1 and 3 p.m., then you might actually be, you might actually want to, if you be a teacher between 1 and 3 p.m., do something that teaches others, something that you just learned that teaches others. If you are a teacher and you have Sagittarius in the ninth house, between 1 and 3 p.m. would be a great time to have your classes, right? Or those would probably be some of your best classes. That between that time because it flows with your zodiac. The eighth house is the house of psychology, deep occult, and deep research. Between 3 and 5 p.m. is where we do our, our research. This is why it's also a good time to do your homework because um, it's the time of deep research. And whatever zodiac sign is here would be how you might want to research or where you might want to do it or you know what environment you know all of that would would pan out so let's say that you have let's pick one well let's say that you have Virgo oh, we use Virgo let's say you have Libra in the eighth house right so Let's say you need and you want to do deep research and deep research, right? Between three and five p.m. Well, you might want to find somebody you can go and do this with somewhere where you guys can be, you know, in a secret place and do deep research with a partner between three and five p.m. Five to seven p.m. is the seventh house. So this too is the partnership house, right? Let's say that you have what sign have I not done yet? Aquarius in the seventh house, right? 5 to 7 p.m. would be the time where you want to find a partner. And Aquarius is a is a very interesting placement for 7 p.m. So you might want to do it with an animal, right? And be with an animal between 5 and 7 p.m. Um, because Aquarius rules over, you know, helping the animals. Um, but it's also a technology, a technological place. So it could be this is where you work with one of your gadgets at home you know, between 5 and 7 p.m. or with somebody because it's the seventh house with somebody. Between 5 and 7 p.m., you might go online and do some networking between 5 and 7 p.m. Between 5 and 7 p.m., you might... This is Aquarius as an example on the seventh house. Between 5 and 7 p.m., you might study your astrology, right? That's Aquarius on the seventh house. 7 to 9 p.m. actually hits the 6th house, right? So um, if you have the sun, um, if you have the sun in the 6th house, that means you were born between 7 and 9 p.m. This is how I know that the chart works this way, right? So the 6th house is the house of health and daily activity. Now, we just went through the 6th house, right? But with the zodiac time placement the sixth house plays its most important energies between 7 p.m and 9 p.m so what are you doing for your health during this time so let's say you have pisces in the sixth house then pisces would be like taking care of your feet right getting a foot massage between 7 and 9 p.m okay the fifth house is the house of dating and creativity right and this is from 9 and 11 p.m. No wonder artists are such late workers. 9 and 11 p.m. is a great time to be creative. And what sign is here is going to be how you create yourself. So let's say you have Capricorn here. Capricorn is a, is a very serious placement for the fifth house. But let's say you do have it there, right? Well, then you want to be in a nice 
institutional uh, like created a uh, recording studio and you you rehearse in this recording or dance studio or painting studio like your own office between 9 and 11 p.m. And if you have Capricorn in the fifth house between 9 and 11 p.m., having your own office would be one of the best ways to handle your creativity and to be a boss and making sure that you do what, what needs to be done. But let's say you're not an artist, but you have um, Capricorn in the fifth house, just as an example, right? Fifth, ha fifth house also rules concerts and like... Um, cinema like big big screen t you know big screen movies so this could be a time where you go to a concert this could be a time where you work with children as well because the fifth house is over children now 11 p.m to 7 a.m right is the fourth third second and first house so 11 p.m to 1 a.m is when you're at home in your fourth house 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. is your third house of the lower mind interesting also when you're sleeping right usually 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. is the second house of morals and 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. is the first house of self so between 1 a.m. and 7 a.m. is the self the personality and the self now, if you're up during those times, you can apply everything that I've said about the Zodiac to these houses, right? But if you're sleeping, then these houses are working in a different way. But let's say you fall asleep at 11 p.m. and you have cancer in the fourth house, right? Well, you definitely like to sleep with your family. Maybe the whole family is in the bed, right? Or maybe you like to eat when you're going to sleep between 11 and 1 a.m. So it's not concrete, but let's say you want to plan your day. Your day is in the Zodiac, starting from 7 a.m. all the way around. You look at your chart and look at what signs are ruling over those times. And then look at your day and say, when do I want to wake up? And when do I want to go to sleep, right? And how can I plan my day out in order for it to serve me in a way that allows me to work more efficiently according to my zodiac chart. If you work for most of the day, right, you do a nine to five, you can still manage to do some things between these hours, even at your job that helps to fulfill you. So also look at the zodiac as a clock. And this clock is gonna help you unlock your day to day perfect life. Thank you so much. This is your girl Karina Dean, Must and I'm signing off until the next video. When the sunlight gets bright.